And topping that, uh, Minnesota officials are scrambling this afternoon to try to line up the final pieces of funding for that proposed light rail line. Yeah, Pat Kessler has been watching this, and he is going to join us right now. He's Pat, I know you've been listening to the talks. You've been listening in. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Amelia, there's some urgency to this at the Capitol because Minnesota's top transit official says the state is ready to start shutting down the light rail project, including sending out layoff notices to 45 project workers at the Southwest Light Rail just because the state has not come up with its share of the funding for light rail. That's why Governor Dayton convened an emergency meeting here at the Capitol today to try to figure out how to save to the $2 billion project or shut it down. There's still a very clear, sharp divide here. Some calling light rail the future of Twin Cities Transit, but opponents say it's the most wasteful public works project in Minnesota history. We are one state, we are one Minnesota, and we should start acting like that instead of pitting rural districts and rural communities against the metro and the metro against the rural communities. Oh, we have big, big questions. Uh, we don't understand the urgency. We don't understand, is there, a, is there really all of a sudden in the last week a cash management problem? I mean, my gosh, you know, who's, whose problem is that? Well, there is a cash problem. By the end of this month, they've got to come up with commitments for $135 million. The federal government will kick in another $900 million plus unless the state doesn't come up with that money. And then Frank and Amelia, this project could go belly up. So tick tock on it and a lot of urgency among lawmakers here at the Capitol. Sounds like it. Uh, Pat Kessler live in St. Paul. Thank you. You bet.